Hi guys, my name is Joanne and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the new Shark Duro Clean Upright Vacuum True Pet with Powered Lift Away. Now this model is the AK910 UKT. It's um, designed for those with pets or animals. I'm just going to lift it up to you for you to see it properly. Weight wise it's not too bad. It is a bit on the heavy side, but you're not going to be carrying it around like this. So this is my Shark Upright Duro Clean. I've already plugged it in. It's got a nice extra long 8 metre cord. So you haven't got to keep switching in between plugs when you go into different rooms. As you can see on the handle here, you've got handheld settings. You've got hard floor. Let me see if I can get it to hard floor, carpet low pile and thick carpet Part, uh, what does I say? Area rug, so a thicker rug. You've also got these handheld devices here. To, so when you want to get into smaller spaces, it's a clip of, click of a button. As you can see, it's there, it's handle release. We have a crevice brush which this brush actually attaches onto. So you can remove it to get into those deeper gaps. We've got a um, upholstery brush, which has a brush attached to it, but I've taken that off because I never use it. And then we have a mini version of the upright. So with the rotating brush, with the upright, you will find a groove along the rotating brush where you can just glide scissors through to cut out the hair just to make it easier to clean for a better performance. So I do that every day, but I've used this vacuum now for about five, six months. So it's, um, I wanted to use it for quite a long time before I did this video so I can give an absolute honest opinion of every aspect. What I also like about this vacuum cleaner is the fact that it's bagless. You don't you don't have to spend money on buying bags. You can just press these two notches here and it lifts away. And then you've got these little clips at the bottom and if you press it, the bottom flap will just open. So, and then the same for the top. So the top bit gathers bigger, bigger bits. Can't do it one handed. Oh my God. Hold on. So that carries, that picks up the bigger parts. So any like chocolate wrappers or anything, or baby wipes that get sucked up, <clears throat> that's easy. So, oh yeah, whilst this is all, this is your filter, so you can take this out. I need to clean mine, because I, I did a lot of dust. So you've got this bit. So I just run it under a cold tap and make sure it's thoroughly dry before I put it back in. As you can see, it's very dusty, because I've been doing some housework, um, as in sanding and whatnot. This is the same, you can just run it under the tap. I, I really should have cleaned this for the purpose of the video, but I didn't because I was too excited. So yeah, run it under a cold tap and then wait for it to thoroughly dry until you put it back on. And the same with that other part. And that just clips back on. Oh my goodness, I didn't realise how dusty mine was. I really should clean that. <laughs> okay. You've also got another filter in there that you can just clip off I run under the tap, make sure it's dry again. So I've plugged, plugged my vacuum in. I think the first thing I want to show you is just how good it is on sofas for dog hair or cat hair. Um, just because this was one of the main reasons why I wanted this one. Because I was sick of, I was sick of, just sick of the, the hair. I vacuumed this last night before I went to bed. The dog's obviously sat on the sofa and has covered it in hair again. So what I'm gonna do is Place this into hard floor, which it already is, because it says using hard floor settings. I'm gonna switch it on, it's gonna get a bit loud. I love this brush and then it just twists off just like that 
Then I'm going to put the long crevice one on because I want to do my, under my sofa where the dog hairs just flew. It's actually quite gross just how much my dog molts. <laughs> so I'm going to just show you under here what I mean. I don't know if you can see those little hairs on the floor. So here we go. You can just get right under there. Brilliant, I love it. And obviously good for getting in the corners of the sofas. Down little gaps. And then I tend to use this brush to do by my skirting boards and my ceilings, just so it doesn't mark it with this. Um, and it works, it's good. The other thing I love about this vacuum cleaner, let's just take this off because I want to plug it into the handheld bit. So look, just slid straight off. Clicks. And you just flick it down with your foot. There's the button. And check out these headlights. You can't really see it in the light, but when you're vacuuming, in, it just helps you. I, I don't know if I can get it to show. The lights just help you see those fine bits of hair and bits on the floor, so you can vacuum them up. Um, and that's another good feature that I love about this vacuum cleaner, is the fact that those little added features make such a huge difference. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you it on carpet now. This is the fun part. I love vacuuming my carpet. So I'm gonna go upstairs and I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, so we're upstairs on carpet. I've plugged the vacuum in. You'll be able to see the headlights better than this one. So with my handheld, I'm going to flick it to low piles. So use that coat hanger. Turn it on. There we go. Those are lovely headlights. So the brush is spinning round now. And it's gathering all those little bits of stuff stuck in the pile of carpet. Not that there's any because I'm always, always vacuuming. Now it's a little bit tough, it's a bit heavy to pull on carpet, but it's manageable. Whereas, there we go. So that's quite cool. And you'll be amazed at how much crap it pulls out just from doing that a little bit. Look at that. That's crazy. I know there was a bit of my floor, my sofa as well, but that's ridiculous. Because as you can see, I vacuum and clean my carpets like all the time. <laughs> I'm going to show you what it does on the stairs now. It's quite amazing, actually. And, and then I can show you the lift away. For the purpose of this video, I have not hoovered my stairs for about two days with three kids running up and down them because I wanted to show you the full effect, so. So what I'm gonna do is again, release that handheld. Then I'm going to press this lift away button because I don't wanna be carrying the whole thing up and down the stairs. So you can actually, you can take that bit off and just leave that there so it's easier to carry which makes vacuuming the stairs a more easier job. So, half floor surface, because I'm using it. Quick swap over. 
for the crevice. Crevice. So these are those corners. And usually I use the brush bit for this. I'll turn that off. Oh, pop it back on its um pop it back on the base. Also, what you could do, so I'm just going to pop this back on because I want to show you something else. You can unclip this part as well. So if you suffer from back problems or you can't get down on the floor to use a handheld, you can release it and put everything on this bottom part, which gives you extra length so you haven't got to get right down. You can just stand up and do what you need to do. The attachments attach on that bottom part as well. And that is the Shark Duo Clean. It's brilliant. And we have also noticed an improvement in my son's asthma and allergy. So he's allergic to dust. And since using the shark, he has been a lot better. So for eczema sufferers, this may be beneficial. I mean, this will be beneficial. Eczema sufferers, allergy sufferers, people with pets. They're brilliant. And you can get all different ones to suit your budget. So, And they're all brilliant. But this is just, I wanted to show you this particular model. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please put a thumbs up and subscribe and hope to see you soon.